So when people are gripped with panic, it shows that there is no security within. There isn't. If we truly believed what we said, that Allah gives life, takes lives, protects, makes us sick, makes us well, then there is no need for such panic. If we truly believe that Allah is a sustainer, we would not be hoarding in the way we want to hoard. In fact, we would be caring for the neighbor, for those who don't have anything. Think about this for a moment, for a moment only. The coronavirus has been now declared as a pandemic. Yes? So we are all afraid that we'll get it and we will all die. Alhamdulillah, at least the earth can have a new lease of life. Get rid of this virus, don't you? In any case, has anybody spared a thought for the thousands of people that are dying every day due to starvation? So now I get pangs of hunger in my stomach and I want to hoard food at the expense of my neighbor who will die hungry. But has this man ever, ever been attentive to the plight of his family, the human family? 35 or thousand people die per day due to malnourishment and lack of food. Have you ever thought of that? And I'm so panicked that what will happen tomorrow, there'll be no rice, so I'll go and buy 10 kilos of rice or 20 kilos of rice. What are we thinking and how? So these events reveal within us the true nature of us ourselves. It's a moment for us to pause, to reflect to take account of what we are and what we've become. It has a silver lining, and that is that we awaken to the truth within ourselves.